Hi, I'm Taran Glover with STL TV, and we're currently here at the opening of the Larry Hughes Basketball Academy. So my name is David Austin. I'm the general manager here at the Larry Hughes Basketball Academy. And first and foremost, I'd like to uh, welcome you all to the Basketball Academy. <laughs> it's not hooked up. Gotcha. So Larry retired after a very successful 13-year NBA career. And unlike a lot of his NBA players who often pick up a set of golf clubs, and begin the pursuit of becoming great golfers, Larry immediately got back in the gym and began working with young athletes. I've had the chance to play golf with Larry. Let me tell you, that was the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> so when Larry got back in the gym, he immediately started refining the concept of individual skill development in a large group environment. That gives each athlete the opportunity to improve their own fundamentals while working in a large group setting and getting instruction from his team of developers. There's three key pieces to our program. The first piece is our curriculum. We teach our basketball training in five week cycles and there's 10 cycles in a year. During each cycle, we have different curriculum focuses that we work on and during the last week of that cycle, we test our athletes. If they demonstrate proficiency and knowledge of the material that we've covered, they have the opportunity to advance through our shirt and star progression. Our athletes, very similar to martial arts, start in a white shirt, and as they progress through our curriculum, they achieve different color shirts. The second piece of our basketball training program that's unique is something that we're proud to show you guys today here at the facility, and that's our technology. That gives us the opportunity to track all of the improvements from our athletes. I'm not gonna dive too much into the details, because the exciting part about today is you all are going to get the chance to experience that technology firsthand after we've, we've concluded the ribbon ceremony. So there'll be staff at each of the different locations, and I encourage you all to, to uh, join the staff, ask questions, and most importantly, participate, grab a ball, and, uh, and, and enjoy that. The third part of our curriculum, and in my opinion, absolutely the most important part of that um, basketball training is our staff. Our st without our staff, you know, we, the rest of it isn't possible. We're very fortunate to have a very committed, um, very dedicated staff, and I'm going to begin by letting them introduce themselves. I'm Steve Jarvis. I'm director of Team Play. I'm Tanner Bencomo. I'm coaching the sixth grade girls. Alato Cole, skill developer. Chelsea Freemuth, membership specialist. I'm Orlando, I'm a skill developer and a fourth and fifth grade boys coach. Jeremy Lang, assistant general manager. Taylor Jarvis, uh, Head of Skill Development and Lead Personal Trainer. Hi, Philip Lienemann, uh, working with Connexon and the Tracking Technology. Vaughn Smith, I'm the 5th grade, 15U uh, Head Coach. I'm Leo, I work with Respect Shot Tracking. I'm Vanessa Hughes, <laughs> I work with <laughs> <laughs> So when I started working here two years ago, I had the privilege to get to know this person. I was continually impressed by the dedication, by the desire, and by the focus. So I'd like to introduce that person to you guys today, and that's Mrs. Vanessa Hughes. What? <laughs> we've, we've got a little something special for you today. We're gonna, we're gonna blindside you with something, and uh, Vanessa's gonna present it to you. Okay, okay, okay. Come on up here. Get up here. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much. It's afternoon now. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon yet? Still morning. Good morning. And thanks for waiting for me uh, so patiently. Larry, um, LB had this idea to um, recognize you today. So we put the wheels in motion, and with that being said and done, we wanted to uh, pro to, I was going to say provide you, we wanted to, um, what am I doing, presenting you with the proclamation from the state of Missouri. And I'm not going to read it all, you guys can read it if you want because I don't want to stand here before you and read, so I'm not going to do that, but I wanted to say to you this morning, um, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's standing behind you because without you guys, he wouldn't, his dream would not have come to fruition. So thank you so very much for supporting him and being his support system. 
And as your dreams have been, as you've been playing basketball since you were 12 years old, uh, bouncing the balls, um, never getting on my nerves, uh, always uh, that kid that was out of the way uh, as long as you had a basketball in your hand. Uh, so to see this, to hear you talk and to see your dreams come to life, I cannot tell you how proud I am of you and how I want you to keep going, keep climbing, and never, as you always tell, tell me, God got us. So, thank you. Appreciate you. So this is for you. Today is proclamation. I'm going to read the heading. It's proclamation designating April 13, 2019 as Larry Hughes Day. And then it goes on whereas, and it tells you his whole story and the whole nine, and we are proud of him. And I hope St. Louis is proud of him, and I hope that we can get the support from you guys because his vision is huge, and I just hope that we can get the support from our community where we come from and where he came back home to live and to raise his family. So thank you again for coming out, and we truly appreciate you all. Without any further ado, you guys, Larry Hughes. This is a, it's our mic. It's a little bit short, but first I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Um, talk about basketball and, and you know the business of basketball, but providing a place that young people uh, can come and experience the game that has done so much for me. I think that that's a um, that's an advantage for our area, um, and I'm always been one to support my area and support where I come from. And that's what this facility is about. It's about the young people that come into the facility to get work, uh, to better themselves, but it's also about the adults that are responsible for coming in and teaching young people you know, life lessons and responsibility, accountability. And like my mom said and Dave said, without the staff, none of this is, is, is possible. Um, for those that know me, know once I set a vision and I set my mind to something, I will get it done. I, I will get it done. But what I've learned is that if, if, if you don't have a team of qualified people, people that want to be with you, people that want to see things through, it just won't happen. So your dreams can, can be just that. I mean, you can, you can put something in place, but then it's time to execute. Um, and these guys and, and, and young, young ladies have helped me uh, execute the vision. And, and it's here now. Um, and again, it's for that basketball experience, that life experience. It's not just for the elite. It's just not for those that are just getting started with basketball. This facility is for anyone that wants to better themselves in the performance area, in the basketball area, and be in a good environment around good people. Uh, that's what we're priding ourselves on. So um, again, like my mom, my kids are here, uh, my relatives, my aunt, my grandmother, you know, family, friends, people that have known me for forever and ever. Tad over there, we've been doing basketball for 25 years, 30 years. So it's, 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 uh, it's all coming together. And I appreciate y'all for coming, uh, coming out. So thank y'all. This is an outlet, you know, it's, it's using basketball to teach young kids, give them a, a, a place to, to come, um, have good people around them, you know, and use basketball to get our message across, whether it's life skills or character development, accountability, uh, we build that into our curriculum and we use basketball to teach it. Our, our goal is to help impact uh, young people in a positive way. Um, we have basketball players, we have soccer players, football players, baseball players uh, that will experience the academy. So we want to be a piece of their journey. Uh, and, and be an impact, a positive impact in their life. I mean, uh, Larry's been my best friend for over 30 years now, so I mean, I'm proud of his, uh, his accomplishments and giving back to the city and opening up a facility that's technology worth proven and uh, giving guys and girls the opportunity to come in and enhance their game. Well, just give them the analytics that they need and a feel that they never learned about. They just come in, now kids just come in the gym, just get shots up. 
and not leaving with any information. And now they can leave and see how they enhance their game when they leave this time. So, uh, you know, everybody's not going to make it to the NBA and things like that, but we just hope that the Larry Hughes Academy give parents and kids motivation and drive and something and just show up and just support. I mean, just because of the words in the world is going now with the technology and now this is just stepped up to the plate. So I feel that it's going to, this is just a stepping stone. I think it's going to expand all over Missouri and then outside. I'm actually CEO of Respect Sports Tech. We do the shot tracking technology and we work with the Larry Hughes Academy uh, to equip this wonderful, beautiful facility uh, with our tech. We're tracking each shot with accuracy and speed and we actually can tell where the shot crossed the plane of the rim, where it actually went in, what's the arc and all the data about the shot, where it came from and we can analyze and improve players better and faster. So it's not just made or missed, it's how you shot, why you shot it that way and how you can improve. Uh, our company is up and running for three years. Uh, two years ago we started selling to NBA teams. We're up to eight NBA teams right now. And um, this is our first youth facility, uh, hoping to do more. Uh, we're always thinking about getting it to, to the regular players, amateur players of all ages. Anyone needs and can shoot better right now. Yeah, so basically our company connects on us tracking players in real time. Everybody uh, of the kids has a sensor in his uh, pocket. They use this pocket in the back and they basically have uh, a little sensor that goes into the pocket this big and it can track in real time the positioning of the players. It, that's, that's correct. So basically, based on the positioning, we are able to track the distance they are covering during the practice, the speed, the accelerations, decelerations, how high they jump, and then also with an integration with our PCT that's providing the shooting data, we can actually match that and say like who shot how many shots. Well, we are here in the Larry Hughes Basketball Academy uh, dribbling station where currently you can choose two of the monitors out here that will pick up your body, scan you in, and uh, you're able to choose exactly what type of dribbling exercise you want to do for that day. Let's see what I can do. That's all I got for us today. All right, all right. So we're here at the Larry Hughes Basketball Academy. What's been your favorite part about this so far? Um, I like how it's very futuristic and advanced. Um, I think I'd be able to get a lot better at basketball here. So, um, probably my coach and doing skills and drills, and yeah, getting better all around. Well, there you have it from Chesterfield, Missouri. This has been the grand opening of Larry Hughes Basketball Academy. I'm Saran Glover with STL TV. Be sure to check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a good one.